Hi, welcome to Adequity. Have you ever wondered how maths as a tool is used to deliver goods from a manufacturing factory to the retail shopkeepers? Here comes the real life application of maths where we'll see that maths is hidden but is everywhere around us. But the question is, how do we come to know about this? Well, there is a notable problem behind all such things that we generally tend to overlook in our daily life. And this is today's topic, which is more popularly known as the traveling salesman problem. Let's imagine that there is a salesman who wishes to visit various cities in order to build his customers and sell his products. He has to visit all the cities exactly once and return back to his city in such a way that he spends the minimum amount of money possible. What is the best route he should take to minimize his costs? So there can be various possibilities to find the best path. And this is exactly where maths comes into play. Let us now have a look into the definition of the traveling salesman problem. It states that given a list of cities and the distances between each pair of cities, what is the shortest possible route one should take so that the person visits each city exactly once and returns back to the original city by minimizing various constraints that is the time taken, the traveling cost and the distance traveled. The total number of possible routes for traveling between n cities where there is an edge between every two cities is n minus 1 factorial. Want to know the logic behind taking n minus 1 factorial? Well, we know that there are n cities in total and the salesman has to start his journey from the origin city and end his journey at the same city itself. That means origin city is both the initial and the final point of the journey. For starting the trip, the person has only one option that is start from the origin. We know that the person is required to visit every city only once and there is a path between every city so to traverse to the second city he is left with n minus 1 options. As we can see that he has covered two cities so to traverse to the third city he has n minus 2 cities to choose from. Similarly, the number of cities goes on decreasing by 1 as the person traverses. By the end, he is left with only one city to traverse to, that is the nth city. And since now no city is left to be traversed, so the person goes back to the origin. And thus, the total number of possible routes will be calculated by multiplying 1, n minus 1, n minus 2, till 1, and thus we get n minus 1 factorial roots. Now coming back to our question, how does this work in case of a delivery system of the manufacturing company? There are five basic stages in which the goods are being delivered. Firstly, the products made in the factory are supposed to be transported to the warehouses of the company. From the warehouses, they are to be transported to the wholesalers. From the wholesalers, to the retail shopkeepers and then finally to the customers. Let us understand by considering the following problem which can be stated as a manufacturing company situated in Surat has to send its goods to the warehouses situated in three different cities with Mumbai, Jaipur and Indore in a single trip. The company aims to minimize the total transportation cost. What route the company should opt to have the minimum transportation cost. On the right hand side, you can see the positions of the four cities, Surat, Mumbai, Jaipur and Indore corresponding to their locations on the map of India. Besides this is the graphical representation of these cities which are being shown as the vertices of the graph denoted as A, B, C and D respectively and the edges between them represent that there is a route between the respective cities. You will see that each city is connected to every other city by an edge. In graph theory, where there is an edge between every pair of vertices, it is called a complete graph. In fact, any map can be converted into a graph with no more than four colors in it, such that no two adjacent regions have the same color. 
Interestingly, this is known as the famous four color theorem. This is the matrix representation corresponding to our problem. The costs incurred for traveling between the two cities are given, where one unit is considered to be equal to 1000 rupees. You can see the elements of the matrix which are the transportation costs associated with every edge between the two cities. For example, the transportation cost from city A that is Surat to city B that is Mumbai is 6 units or 6000 rupees. Similarly, from Surat to city C that is Jaipur is 12000 rupees and from Surat to the city D that is Indore is 6000 rupees. And the same goes for every other city. You must have understood why the transportation cost from a city to itself is not taken as we are concerned about transportation from one city to another and not in the same city itself. We'll be discussing in detail about its mathematical approach in our upcoming videos. Now we have to see how many possible routes can be there. As we have seen in the graphical representation that there is a path between every two cities. Since there are four cities, so the total number of routes possible will be 4 minus 1 factorial which is 3 factorial which is equal to 6. Now let us find the transportation costs associated with each route. Here you can see all the 6 possible combinations of the routes. The very first route is A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. That is, the manufacturing factory will first transport its goods from Surat to Mumbai, then from Mumbai to Jaipur, Jaipur to Indore, and from Indore it comes back to Surat. Now the costs corresponding to each path which are being given in the table will be added up together and in this way will get the total costs incurred in a route. So the cost corresponding to the first route is rupees 32,000. You can pause the video here and carefully check the other possible routes as well. The costs corresponding to the second route is rupees 30,000, to the third route rupees 29,000, to the fourth route it's rupees 33,000, to the fifth route rupees 30,000 and to the sixth route it's rupees 28,000. Now see that the minimum transportation cost is rupees 28,000 which is associated with the 6th root that is A to D, D to B, B to C, C to A. This means that the factory should first transport from Surat to Indore, then from Indore to Mumbai, from Mumbai to Jaipur and from Jaipur back to Surat. We'll come up with the mathematical solution of the traveling salesman problem using optimization techniques. So stay tuned. Unfortunately, there are some limitations of traveling salesman problem. Firstly, the basic constraint in TSP is that we can minimize only one thing out of time, distance or cost at a single point of time. Secondly, the complexity of calculating the optimal route increases if we increase the number of cities. TSP is also known as NP hard problem. That means you cannot guarantee to find the shortest path within a reasonable time limit. Nonetheless, traveling salesman problem has played a predominant role in the development of algorithms. It is used as a test case for almost every new optimization algorithm, be it branch and bound algorithm, integer and mixed integer algorithms, DNA computing and many more. Do you know? Scientists in Japan have solved a more complex traveling salesman problem than ever before. The previous standard for instance solving was limited to 16 cities. And these scientists have used a new kind of processor to solve the problem for 22 cities. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this content informative, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any suggestions or queries, don't forget to write in the comment section below. If you don't want to miss any of our videos, click on the bell icon to get notified every time we come up with something new. Thank you.